Hello everybody and welcome to chapter 7 in which we'll look at improper integrals. All right, so there are two different types. Let's start with type 1. So section 7.1, improper integrals of type 1. Our goal is to compute the area of regions unbounded in the x direction. All right, so to make sure everything is clear, let's start with an example. That example will teach us how to compute the area of such an unbounded region. So example 7.1.1, find the area of the region between y equals x squared, so this is this curve, and y equals 0 on the right of x equals 1. So if you notice, um, this region keeps going. So that's what it means to be unbounded in the x direction. Right? It escapes, it goes off to x being infinity. All right, so let's start with question A. Using vertical slicing, give an integral which evaluates the area of R. So the area should be equal to the integral from A to B, top minus bottom. That's what vertical slicing tells us. Now, A is the leftmost value of x, so that would be 1. Now, this is where the tricky bit comes in. B is the rightmost, but there isn't one, so we'll put that you just keep going to infinity. And then if I look at these slices, top would be 1 over x squared, bottom is 0 dx. And so the integral I'm trying to make sense of is the integral from 1 to infinity of 1 over x squared dx. This is an improper integral. In fact, it looks like a definite integral because you have bounds a to infinity. But we can't use Riemann sums on this because the delta x would be infinite. All right, so these integrals are special because it's not really a Riemann sum that gives us this value. So let's try to figure out what we would want this integral to be by looking at ways of getting to this area here, the area of that region. So what I'll do, my issue is with the fact that it goes on forever in the x direction, so I'll chop it. <laughs> So for any real number t bigger than 1, I'm going to evaluate the area of the region rt between y equals 0 and y equals um, 1 over x squared. So just the same as before, I have x equals 1, so x equals 1, 0, and so 0 is here, and then I have 1 over x squared, but instead of letting this region go on forever, which caused us trouble because I couldn't do Riemann sum, I'm going to stop it. I'm going to stop it, but I'm not going to stop it at a fixed value. I'm going to stop it at t. Right? So this is the region rt. And if I apply um, vertical slicing, I'll get the integral from 1 to t of 1x squared minus 0. So same thing, but instead of going to infinity, I stop somewhere. So 1 to t, x to the minus 2. Now this is a finite interval, and so I can use um, Riemann sums. And in fact, because this is a continuous function on 1 to t, I can use FTC. So I get x to the minus 1 over minus 1, 1 to t. I'm going to get um, t to the minus 1 over minus 1 minus 1 to the minus 1 over minus 1. So I get 1 over t plus 1. There's a minus here. All right, so if I stop at 10, I'll get 1 minus 1 tenth. I'll get 9 10. If I stop at 100, I'll get 99 over 100. And so you can compute the area at every single possible finite stopping point. All right, so I want to use that to evaluate the area of R. So I have my region R that goes forever, and I have my region 
our t that stops at t. So what I want to do is I want to keep increasing. So I want to send t to infinity. I cannot replace t by infinity because now we're going in circle. I would get back to this point and nothing would really make sense yet. And so what I'll do is I'll say that the area is going to be the limit as t goes to infinity of a of t. So this is something that we've done a few times. It doesn't make sense to plug in infinity, but I can ask if there's um, there's a convergence, if there's a limit, if it approaches a value as t goes to infinity. And so here I'll get, um, sorry, I'll get the limit as t goes to positive infinity of minus 1 over t plus 1. That's going to give you minus 1 over infinity. That's 0 plus 1. I get 1. So even though I couldn't really make sense of this, and even though the region keeps going forever, I can actually say that as t goes to infinity, the area approaches 1. So the area of my region is actually finite. I could cover it with a finite amount of paint. All right, so let's try to rate what we've learned from this example before we stop this video. So from the example, we should define. So if I have an integral like this, if I have an integral from a to positive infinity, then I should think of it as a limit. So I should think of it as a limit as t goes to infinity. So it cannot make sense of a bound being infinity, but I'll let t go to infinity and I'll replace my infinite bound by a finite one. T. All right, so in the next video, we'll look at the definition. We'll define it for this type of integral, so a to infinity. We'll also do it in a similar way for minus infinity to b. And then we'll also look at what to do if both bounds are infinite. And then we'll start doing examples.